just fueled up with some expensive diesel making our way out through the bumper boats making our way back out into Banderas Bay to then make our way out into the Pacific. What a gorgeous place, Puerto Vallarta, very exciting. A lot of cruise ship, people, that's all right. You know, they're there doing their thing, we're doing our thing, right on. We're having a little bit of an irritating issue with the charts. The boat has multiple chart overlays on it, but um, it's showing us something really off. So you can see right now on AIS, we're showing this boat is actually on the land and that we're showing right next to this island. Um, but a closer zoom in on Navionics shows nothing really of the sort. Um, so whether it's a calibration issue or the overlay is just kind of off or what, but we, we know that that boat is not sailing into over the land. Conditions. of a rolly anchorage last night so I had to uh, take a sleeping pill which which works but it's, uh, it's still taxing that little boat just kind of sitting and rocking all night is a, I don't know if it's some of the wind and some of the waves luckily Steve had the anchor alarm and to torture him instead of me so Another day of sailing out here in the Pacific. Uh, here we go. You know, is, is it exciting sailing? And uh, sailing is, I love it. I mean, it is just totally magical. But truth is, um, most of the time, you're really just kind of sitting doing nothing. So, um, you know, right now there's no wind, so we are just motoring. And we'll be doing so, uh, we might sail a little bit if the wind comes out, but if not, then we'll just motor for eight to 10 hours today. Um, which is when you're, you know, you got a boat in transit. That's just kind of what you do. And most of the time you just kind of sit around, listen to music, and you make food a few times a day. And, uh, and then you go to bed when you get there. So the best part about that is that there's just so much time for kind of contemplation and to kind of sit and think and listen to books on tape, and read them if it doesn't make you too sick. The ocean's kind of... Uh, it's a rougher place than most people think, so I don't really read particularly well on a boat. That's why I've got multiple audiobooks, but uh, it's great. It's just very self-indulgent to take this much time for yourself to kind of stare out at the ocean and think about things you never think about.
might have to stop them. These stairs made the sound all night. And I've tried like jamming things and make it stop. But it'll make you crazy. So I wish I had recorded our way in on the dinghy. <laughs> We just timed a perfect one of these big crashing waves <laughs> that rolled us on the way in, so. And we are epic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good times it's had by all. So here we're more in like real Mexico. Less tourists, although there still are some we're right here on the Pacific with a very good rolling tide that comes in. But you know, smaller places, so little mercados like this with just like you know a couple of things of drinks and a little bit of food and there's some little shops little houses this is great this is uh more like real mexico Plenty of places for a traveling tourist to stay down here and enjoy the beautiful beach. So in a lot of places, uh, they don't have, there's no flusher, there's no toilet valve, and no seat. In fact, there's no sink. And what they have is a, a large container of water. So what you do is you scoop up, flush the toilet. Hey, what'd you order? Camarones de coco. Coconut mm. wrapped, deep fried shrimps. And Steve ordered the fish. Ooh. Nice. Looks like fish. Looks yeah. like a, mm, fish definitely fish a fish. <laughs> Does he have a name or anything? I mean, Bob. do we send something to Bob. his family? <laughs> Bob, we were um, snorkeling with him earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. Oh, it's haircut day. <laughs> been seeing whales pretty much on an hourly basis, but I'll tell you, those buggers are hard to get. You gotta really get your lens out there trying to get a little capture. They're so beautiful though. It's amazing. Sometimes they breach, sometimes you see the tail, sometimes just a spout, but um, I feel fortunate to see them every time we do. But generally it's, you see them and then you pull out your camera and it's too late. So here's a few anyway. <laughs> 